Let's find out. Hmm. Almost done with this, I believe. Yeah, two sections left. This next one is really small, so uh, let's see if I can do them together. But first, that would make this the last of my Islam laugh track videos, and that calls for a special commemoration. A little single malt magic. Uh, now I've got to think of something else to do on YouTube. On this channel. So. By the way, uh, you know it's free to comment if you want. And I don't censor comments. I just haven't seen a comment on the last 10 videos. <laughs> I was getting them for a while and I was thinking, oh, this could be interesting. Some interesting conversation maybe. Maybe some people will, you know, point something out that uh, where I'll go, oh, I'm all for that, you know. But I just, you know, bring it up to you. I mean, I, I'd love to hear some from some Muslims. I know I did in the very beginning. These videos are doing pretty good by my standards. But yeah, I was getting a few comments. Now nothing. That's all I ask. I, I'm not one of those people that, you know, is begging for validation. I mean, yeah, watch or don't. But I mean comment you know even if it's just to say i'm totally wrong about this and here's why shoot i might do a video on that maybe even maybe i'll even say you know what i've totally changed my thinking because i can do that i'm not dogmatic all right history of tolerance yeah you they have somewhat of a history of tolerance in certain situations where they conquer some place and they have absolute power, but it doesn't make sense just to kill everyone off or force them to be fake Muslims. No, you know, there's other ways. You could say, fine, you know, you pay maybe a little tax or a tithe. Like, oh, I don't know, maybe your firstborn son, you know. Um... Anyhow, it's a mixed bag. Christians have been nice sometimes too. And that's great. I love that. I love it when that happens. Damn, sun's moving on me. <sighs> it does that. Even Western scholars have repudiated the myth of Muslims coercing others to convert. The great historian D. Lacey O'Leary wrote. Uh, and peace be upon that guy. Um, history makes it clear, however, that the legend of fanatical Muslims sweeping through the world and forcing Islam at the point of a sword upon conquered races is one of the most fantastically absurd myths that historians have ever repeated. So that's what this guy thinks. And I see there's a citation. Let's see what it's uh, number three. Islam at Crossroads, London, 1923, page eight. 1923. So, you know, the latest info here. So they found one guy who said that. And yeah, I do know of instances where, you know, the conquering Muslims. Uh, weren't complete dicks because, you know, they're human beings too. And you can win somebody over even if they don't willingly change. The next generation will. And the one after won't even remember that there's a problem. So it works. Christians have been using it for a long time and so are the Muslims. But not all of them. You know, some. Not everybody's conquering everybody and trying to Convert, not everybody's a fanatic. Ooh, that's nice. Muslims ruled Spain for roughly 800 years. 
Yeah, how did they do that? Were they asked, hey, could you come rule us? No invasion, right? I'm not saying that they're bad for invading. Everybody invades. I'm just saying they're not especially good, are they? They needed to conquer that other land there and build a mosque over your your cathedral. But that's fine because the Christians were doing it too. They build their churches over a mosque or a pagan place and steal all their holidays. <laughs> it's fine. More holidays, I won't complain about that. But yeah, they ruled Spain for roughly 800 years. And uh, yeah, I think a little conquering went on there. During this time, and up until they were finally forced out, why would they do that? Things were so wonderful. It's fucking Christians. Ugh. The non-Muslims there were alive and flourishing. Yeah, they didn't kill them all. Guess it makes sense to do that anyway. Additionally, Christian and Jewish minorities have survived in the Muslim lands of the Middle East for centuries. Yeah, there's Zoroastrians in Iran. Go figure. How'd that happen? I find that puzzling, but I'm also encouraged. You know, the granddaddy of all the faiths right there. <laughs> oh. Countries such as Egypt, Morocco, Palestine, Lebanon, Syria, and Jordan have significant Christian and or Jewish populations. This is not surprising to a Muslim, for his faith prohibits him from forcing others to see his point of view. And that's all it ought to be, because all you can really do is force somebody to lie and fake it. I don't know, maybe some people are different, but for me, yeah, that's what it had to be. I'd have to lie and fake it. And I don't think I'd really enjoy that very much. Ah. This is not... Uh, uh, um, the glorious Quran says... Mm. Let there be no compulsion in religion. Well, amen to that. Truth stands out clear from error. It should. It should. But I'm dubious about that. Whoever rejects evil and believes in God hath grasped the most trustworthy handhold that never breaks. <laughs> and God heareth and knoweth all things. That's why he's always testing people. Because he loves the way he already knows the answer. Things must be pretty boring for that guy. Oh, well, anyway, that was a Surah 2. First, 256. That's a long one. Damn hornets. They're everywhere. <sighs> Islam. The great unifier. Far from being a militant dogma, Islam is a way of life. That transcends race and ethnicity. The glorious Quran repeatedly reminds us of our common origin. I got to break in for just a second. You know what really revolutionized Christianity? Is it let in the rejects? You didn't have all these rules. It's like, what? Your nuts are crushed? You can't come in. Christians are like, Hey, crush nuts, come over here. We'll, we'll take you. <laughs> and 
And yeah, except for a verse here and there in the epistles about not letting women, letting women to shut the fuck up and be subservient. Actually, it seems in practice, uh, women got to do a lot in the ver very early days. They kind of were almost equal back then, almost perceived as such. So anyway, that really helped the Christians out. And uh, the Muslims only, I mean, Muhammad and his people had to have noticed that that worked and went, hey, yeah, get rid of the, uh, you know, the door, the door charge, you know, <laughs> just it, it, take anybody. You're going to get a lot of people. And it works. But yeah, Muslims do that too. Islam does it. All right, here's a verse from the Quran that I interrupted. How rude of me. Oh, mankind. We created you from a single pair of male and female and made you into nations and tribes. Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> that ye may know each other, not that ye may despise each other. Verily, the most honored of you in the sight of God is he who is the most righteous of you. And God has full knowledge and is well acquainted with all things. That's why he's always got to be testing people. Because he already knows the answer. <laughs> I guess he's just going through the motions. Huh? It's got to be boring to be God. I, I, that's what I think. <sighs> anyway, that's uh, Surah 49, verse 13. Thus, it is the universality of its teachings that makes Islam the fastest growing religion in the world. It, yeah, that always helps, doesn't it? Widen the gates and lower your standards a great deal. Because, yeah, you, you, the physician goes to the broken people, not the healthy people. No money in that. They're not, they're not needed there. How about that? In a world full of conflicts and deep schisms between human beings, a world that is threatened with terrorism, perpetuated by individuals and states, Islam is a beacon of light that offers hope for the future by being backwards looking. <laughs> Stick with tra tradition and into the future with the same old shit. Anyhow, let's see what's in the back here. Well, there is a, a, a surah in the back, but it's uh, the same one, 49.13, so I guess I can't repeat that. <sighs> a lot of spoilers here. Anyhow, that's the end of the Islam tracks. It's kind of sad. Uh, maybe I'll check out Ask Islam or or Why Islam. I mean, they got a couple of these sites. They've always been in the information, by the way. Wherever they put in the information box, YouTube's bound to change things again someday and make me look stupid. I don't need help there. Anyhow, let me know. Did you learn anything? Was this life changing? Because, hey, I've never done that before. That'd be nice. Life changing. If you just have a thought, you know, chime in. It's a good place to do it. Uh, I'll probably respond even. So I don't get a lot of comments. It's kind of crickets on this channel, which is fine. I've only been at it since 2009. <laughs> but hey, I stopped giving a fuck pretty early on, and it helped. Anyway, thank you for watching. And 
you know, peace the fuck, no, peace the fuck out, all that. 